don't know what's going on. It's uh, taped off this uh, crime scene. I don't know why this uh, plant sale sign went up, which is illegal, but we didn't do it. They have a backhoe here, trucks. Hey, who can tell us what's going on? What's going on? Uh, I guess they're just going to take her stuff. Wesley Chung's there telling everybody that this stuff was tagged. This stuff is not tagged. This stuff was this not tagged. It hasn't been tagged. We're going to tag it. Oh, that's why you so got to tag it. You're going to tag it. Up and you're tag it. Leave it. Why? I've had, I've had that gentleman over there take this a push on me. Time, uh, <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I was like, oh my God. This is the first time I we've got this just get out of the tank and shoving on me. I, and then he takes a takes this and starts pushing me around. This is this road. is a new thing here. What uh, yeah. their back hose? There's a crane here, as you can see. Yeah. You can see that uh, the police are heavily armed. These are not the Aloha police. No. These are not the Aloha shirt guys. Hey, those look like shotgun rounds. They, they really are. Those like are those shotgun rounds on your belt? What are they? They must be. Um, I've never seen those on any any other HPD person that's been here before. Is that for keeping the peace? What is that? It must be for keeping the peace. It must be for keeping the peace. You guys are all decked out in your in your harmful. Except for you. Are you, you can, strapped? You can you can see the splintered pad insignia on their. Uh, oh, so so so. Logo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna walk around here. I, you know, it's an election year. This might really be more for show. Uh, I'm gonna come around. Blade is counting the actual number of personnel. We have more police here than we've had in quite a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to so move my property. We're going to have to move my property. Okay, that's where I am. Right here, sir. Hey, how's it? How are you? Hey, I told you they were going after Kao. You guys never believed me. Huh? If, uh, the brother no, never believed me. I told them we were going to go uh, out to Kao. Yeah, you're not getting it. Yeah, that was there two weeks before. And you that, guys was a, that was a park set. So you don't want to get your ID? No, I'm not giving you my ID for no reason. Where's, where's Wes? Is he here? Is there here? We're going to take your stuff. This is dramatic. This time. They, they would, uh... You don't like your tape? You can go down there for 48 hours. You don't have to detention for you. Oh, in charge of this is uh, West Chan, Director of uh, Facilities, Department of Facilities Management, um, and Engineering, PhD in Engineering. Why is the facilities maintenance guy in engineering doing this? Have you ever tagged it? Have you ever tagged it? I don't know. It has to be tagged and then 24 hours later they can take it because it shows it's stored property. Yeah, I will. I'll follow my own report. I might not have that because I can't trust it. 3736. It's an election year, folks. This looks like important stuff. This encampment has been here 177 days continuously. Uh, join us tomorrow all day. May 1st, general strike. There will be uh, live music, food. Here's West Chan. Identifiable by uh, ring on his uh, little finger. Order, order of the engineer, which doesn't uh, investigate complaints, ethics violations, and that sort of thing.
Okay, police are claiming that their seller comes from homeowners. They're like, since this is homeless, since they're homeless, they can take this stuff. I don't know. I don't like it. But I have to say, the police are being cool. They know we're not going to bust out any Shaolin moves. Sober bunch of people. Never found drugs, uh, never found weapons, no explosives, stuff like that. We're, we're all cool. I like this. I like this new. We're taking some of uh, the table away that we used uh, yesterday for Food Not Bombs Jam. I'm processing some video for that, so it'll be... Uh, looks like they are disassembling uh, some stuff. what happens when you let bullying go on. This is bull this is civil bullying oh, no, terrorism. Actually, the one officer down there, yeah, uh, that's facing us all the way to the end down there. Yeah. I wake up and he's he immediately start pushing on me. Shit, really? Oh, cool. Since this isn't actually a crime, they got their boots on. Now, Sergeant Santos says they don't hey, call hey, this a raid. Hey, police, stop them! They cannot dismantle that. I have not been here. It's not tag. That's that's search and seizure. Stop them! Stop them! Police! Stop those people! Stop those people! They're breaking the law! They're breaking the law. I have all of you. Did not. Do not break the law. Those things are not. Taking untagged property, uh, opening an art supply. You can see a backhoe involved. been put up recently, untagged property, um, paints and art supplies for uh, tomorrow's uh, May Day art. Taking untagged property, not subject to seizure under uh, any ordinance. Looking through the uh, paint box, new paints, um, art supplies used for. Um, they took your tent. They took your tent. That's yours. They went tag them or what? They tagged him yesterday. No, no, no. Yeah, your stuff is just going to get tagged. So I'll take it today. So we're going to grab your stuff. We'll grab the stuff. Because it wasn't here last time. 
Yeah, grab them. I'll watch the boy. You can see uh, stuff not being stored, it's being thrown away. These are art supplies and whatnot. Here's a tent. Uh, that's yours. No, uh, they don't have anything better for you. This is a great attempt to uh, create uh, homelessness. That's West Chun right there. Here it occupies Honolulu, the graveyard of his political ambition. Now, a lot of these guys on the city crews we recognize. A couple of guys uh, here run the actual depot, so it makes it easier to uh, claim the stuff. I've actually been able to reclaim property after uh, 47 days. <laughs> None of this stuff is tagged. It's quite right. What we do, this is not, uh, this is Occupy Honolulu, not a homeless encampment. So what we do is take property and rotate it out. We have many tents, and that's to comply with uh, the law and to make the property exempt from seizure under Ordinance 11-029 uh, or Bill 54. These kinds of laws that take property mostly from homeless people are, is under um, attack across the nation. Many cities uh, made this kind of ordinance and uh, the one in LA is being um, challenged, in fact, was the subject of an injunction at the moment. The uh, Department of Justice, along with uh, other federal groups, have Good question from Damien. Maybe we should call 911. What do you do when the police are stealing this stuff? What do you think? Uh -huh. What What's your impression of what's going on? I'm glad you're doing it. Why Why is that? Because these people have no right to be littering and, and mm. messing up public property. Well, actually, they have a legal right to be by the side of the road, according to the uh, Constitution. It's part of the law of the splintered paddle. And it's uh, public property, and they are the public. I'm the public, too. Yes, we I'm share it. Yeah, that's right. So I don't like them littering property that is partly mine. Well, I, I don't see right, a, a lot of right litter. For clean property, not for them to litter and mess it, it up. It looks like property that's required uh, to live, tents and tables and that sort of thing. But they don't live here. They can't live here. Well, this is why not, not their property. It's public property and they are the public. What if how about taking... Uh, what if everybody about, came out here and filled up the whole how park? About what would you think about that? Well, they've done that in other uh, in other cities that have, don't have much uh, housing. Uh, Where do the houseless go? You, you're a resident of the area. Then. That's right, I am. Okay, I am too. That'd be the. Uh, I am, and I do not. I don't want somebody sitting in my doorstep with their. Uh, all their well, cars. this isn't your doorstep, is it? But I'm going down this sidewalk. I go through. We leave. Car. We leave enough. Uh, 
space for a sidewalk access. And sidewalk... Oh, so you think that this is just fine? I do. That they can pile up all their crap here? I do. Oh. I think they're well, within the... Well, that something about you. I, I, I think they're within the law. We obviously have some disagreements with the neighbors. This is actually a, a property law. And actually, who I blame for these sorts of uh, regulations are the uh, public who pressured uh, their councilmen and that kind of thing to do something about the homeless, which means get them out of sight. Uh, so the Office of Housing, which is usually here and not here today, there's members of the press here, which means that they were kind of tipped off, or maybe it was one of our tweets, who knows. All of Michael Daly's art supplies, huh? all of Michael Daly's paints, and Michael Daly's banner. They took Michael Daly's banner? Yeah. They took artwork. You can't do that. That's expressive content. That's like total violation of the first time. Total violation! So, how about, how about uh, Raul Gonzalez? I don't know. All the things that Michael Daly put to store for his specific sustainability thing is, was in that... You see that uh, white yeah. thing that's sticking out? That's the box that has it. Uh, I we think it's number 78. Raul Gonzalez came by yesterday and did a... a mural, yeah, no. Really I, I beautiful know. mural. I'm, gonna, I'm wondering what happened to that. Just be a person! No. Occupy Honolulu are actually protesters. So, um, these tents, of course, will be replaced. Rotated out. We have a whole rotation system uh, for the tents. Uh, but houseless people can't do that. This creates houselessness. It takes the um, ho housing away from uh, people with tents, their tents, and they're out on the street. And that's the solution for the Office of Housing and the Department of Facilities Management, um, West Chun, you see here who is a uh, real paranoid guy. <laughs> he came to neighborhood board meeting with police escort and left uh, under police escort. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the stuff over there is just tagged. They got, we got to vacate it up. But we rotate that, them but out. They're saying that none of it was tagged prior. Right. No, it wasn't. We just rotate them out and put different tents there. We don't store on property for 24 hours. Well, the floor also states they have to be stored properly. They don't exactly have to be stored. They won't be stored by kicking us. Oh, really? Yes. You notice that. They won't be stored by kicking the tents. Yellow police line do not cross. It's a uh, new uh, feature. Today's raid is the first time they've blocked off the area. You get some good angles here. Very organized. You notice the proliferation of embark tents. These tents will be gone in 24 hours, but other tents will be here. Join us tomorrow, May Day. Don't go to work. It's a general strike. Come down here. There will be food, uh, free speech, free food, free music. Don't go to work. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the uh, procedure, they 
put tags on to describe the property and they take uh, pictures of the property. You, this is the sort of thing you need a PhD in engineering to accomplish. Here is a tag going on. We have a collection of Freedom Furniture tagged furniture that we'll be auctioning off. Uh, this these tags increase the uh, market value of these throwaway pieces by quite a bit. We call it uh, Freedom Furniture and uh, they're worth quite a bit. Wait, this is a freedom of speech table, I'm sorry. This is a, this is a freedom of speech table. I'm, I'm sitting at the freedom of speech table, you notice we have, uh, in fact, while I'm here, I should probably pull out one of these calls for general strike. Uh, this sign, which is really weathered, but also uh, quite valuable, it has vinyl lettering. You can see, legalize free speech. It's an interesting concept. And, uh, uh, this, guy's gonna this chair already has a tag on it, but it's getting another tag. This is uh, more freedom furniture. The, uh, this one had a tag on it, but this is the information booth, another one going on. This is massive freedom furniture. We got multiple tags on this. Uh, this is at the corner of uh, Ward and Baratania, so come down and check out this really high quality uh, multiply tag information table uh, that has uh, literature of various has any of the rules changed? It's still under the same Bill 54, right? That's what it says here. It's uh, another tag went on. Ordinance number 11-029, okay, which is uh, what Bill 54 became. This is outside the taped area. Well, no, I'm glad you were able to come over here. Glad you saved the table. Thank yeah, you for I, I did. It. I, it's important to exercise I was, free speech. I didn't, well, I didn't think they'd make it over there because of the boundary. Yeah. Like, okay, this is a perfect example yeah. to go talk to you. <laughs> Apparently none of the rules have changed. Of the none of the rules. What they took today was under the same old rules. Yes, same old rules. New, uh, new stuff New here. procedure. Yeah. New procedure.